News tonight, researchers continue to try to look for characteristics of COVID-19 to figure out who and which areas are most at risk. Exactly, and meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer has some new information for us that shows the risk could be reflected in the air we breathe. Just yesterday, Harvard released brand new research explaining the relationship between air pollution and COVID-19. The study estimates that if the air quality in New York was even a small fraction better, it would have already saved hundreds of lives. While air quality is improving since everyone is staying home, the issue is prolonged exposure to the pollutants over time. Researchers say people in cities with high air pollution are more vulnerable to the most severe COVID-19 symptoms. Scientists looked at 3,000 counties across the country, comparing air quality with death rates to predict where the next hotspots of high death rates will be. Right now, they're focused on a few counties in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Indiana, Ohio, and California. The counties include the cities of Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Evansville, Cincinnati, and Los Angeles. We reached out to the scientists to find out if the study resulted in any specific insights for our area, and we'll let you know if we hear back. One thing to note, Harvard released this research as a preprint. This is something we're seeing pretty frequently these days. It means that it hasn't been peer researched yet, but they've released it anyways so that their information and their research can get into the hands of people who can use it to save lives. Back to you. The environment and our weather impacting us all. Our Jacqueline Shearer reporting.